Thank you. Thank you, Judy. This has certainly been um, a controversial area of, of research. And I'm just wondering if, Judy, you might be willing to comment on why do you think there's so many groups that have not been able to find these types of um, outcomes that you're talking about? And what are the major methodological issues that possibly confront these disruptive findings? Uh, sure. That's, um, the first one is the, is the patient selection. In the, er, in the first negative studies that came out, and in fact all of them, a lot of people are using samples where they don't know. And as we heard from you, Lenny, and from and Tony, they're, they're really not diagnosed the same way. So you're looking at heterogeneity and, and really trying to find a needle in a haystack, as it were, with the lower level expression. Um, second, um, we, we don't... The, the basis of the paper isn't PCR. A lot of the groups are trying to do PCR with a QPCR that's focused on specificity to the what, it was, what was made the reference clones called VP62. And so because our initial sequences in the um, in the gene bank were so highly similar, everybody focused on specificity instead until Dr. Lowe recognized that the nested pro, pro, in our paper was actually, it's got an annealing te temperature of 53, and it'll actually pick up everything even with the variation. So that the PCR methods, um, nobody's um, done the culture or the um, serology in as detailed a way. I do know the one paper that just came out on the serology um, did, used an antibody that um, would detect most uh, polytropic, xenotropic, and ecotropic virus, but it did not detect the friend family, which as we showed, S spleen focus forming virus is the friend family. So that paper also did an immune precipitation and didn't show that the antibody could actually immune precipitate. So it, it's complicated, but, but all of these things have to go into to comparing clinical isolates where there might be a lot more variation. And I didn't get to show you the hypermutation. We see a lot of hypermutation in primary sequences from the patients, um, 6 to 8% in the peripheral blood. So you'll miss those. So there's a lot of things that go into it. I think we just need more research to, to sort it all out. Final speaker for this session is John Coffin, uh, who is uh, an extraordinarily distinguished uh, retrovirologist. Uh, he got his PhD in the laboratory of uh, Howard Temin, 